Welcome to another episode of Sailing Indiana's Boat Life Things. In this episode, you will see us preparing the boat to be lifted, getting her hauled out of the water, and her journey on the back of a lorry to her new home in Brighton on the south coast of England. Hi, I'm Lauren and this is Chris and this is Sailing Indiana. We're two pretty average people. We have pretty average jobs, we have to pay bills like everybody else. We have bought a sailing boat and this is our story. She is a 1989 Gypsy 372. She's 11 and a half meters and she's French. The boat is currently in Brundle Bay Marina in Norwich. The plan is to move her to Brighton. Once we've taken her to Brighton, then we will have a few more other jobs to do before we can actually sail her, which we're planning to do late to spring. Fingers crossed and COVID permitting. So if you want to come on this journey with us, keep watching as we swap a life in the city for a life at sea. On last week's episode, you saw us taking Indiana from Brundle Bay Marina 20 minutes upriver to Bell Boats Marina to get her mast unstepped. We spent the night moored up as the next morning she was to be hauled out of the water and loaded onto a lorry. In an attempt to calm our nerves, we spent the night drinking red wine and port and playing multiple rounds of music trivia. Get rich or die trying. 50 cent. By 50 cent. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, they're gonna make you try a little harder than this. Get rich or die trying by fifty cent. Went platinum how many times? Like, what? What are the what are the options? One, eight, ten, seventy. The seventy would be eight. I could have left that. I could have been like, you sure? And that would have made you doubt yourself. I'd commit to winning that one. You'd commit to winning. Kira to Dasha. 50 cent. You, you didn't commit to these ones, and then did you? <laughs> one or two of them are yours. Yes. So literally true. one of them is yours. No, that's not necessarily oh, the case. You, seriously? For f fudge sake. What is this? Welcome to the Jungle was a big Lip. hit for which band? Welcome to the Jungle! I'm not going to say that multiple choice. The next day, the lorry arrived bright and early. We shook off the nerves and our hangovers and got on with the job at hand. First of all, the crane positions the strops at the bow of the boat. They are slowly lowered and sunk until they can pass freely under the keel. boat lifts here's some more music trivia to lighten the mood then then <laughs> what group released the, so the song down under i come from a down, down. oh could be that song couldn't it yeah, yeah it must be that must song be. yeah is it van halen mm, no bon jovi no kiss no men at work men at work <laughs> Boom. Boom. Thank you. I came from a land down under. That's all I know. The lyrics. Alright. Finish the title of Billy Joel's song, River of Dreams, tears, love, or hope. River of hope. That's not how it goes, I have no idea. Oh, don't throw me off. <laughs> um, 
Oh god, it's either dreams or hope. Go the gap. Dreams. You got it. Is it? Yeah. You don't know. No, 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 no. I come from a land down under. Once the strops have safely cleared the kill, it is imperative that they are positioned so that they avoid the prop shaft when lifted. It is imperative to have someone holding a bow line and a stern line to control stability in case of wind or other movements. Of course, it is important to factor in height restrictions, which will determine whether your mast will travel on deck or below on the trailer. Also consider your width, which will determine whether you need an escort vehicle. Brandon Flowers. Yep. Front switch band. The Killers. No. Nope. Snow Patrol. No. Nope. Foo Fighters. Kings of Leon. Brandon Flowers. I know that. Come now on I... now. My brain is gone. Come on now. It's not Foo Fighters. Well, no, that's Dave Grubb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not Kings of Leon. Because that's... The guy that's no, 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 no. He's married to Kerry Madigan. It's not him. It's the guy that's married to Kerry... No, isn't that the guy from... No, Kings... Oh, no, no it's not it's Kings of Leon. From... I'm thinking of... Um... No, it is Kings of Leon. Oh, brother, where are they now? now are they called... No, no, no. No, it's the, it's the, it's the Skiffle Band. <laughs> Who sings Lion Man? Yeah, the Skiffle Band. The Skiffle Band? Yeah. That's him.
The ones from the... the All right, it's King of Leon then. <laughs> Mumford and Sons. That's the one. It's not yeah. him. Yeah. Brandon Flatters, Front Switch Band. Snow Patrol, Foo Fighters, Kings of Leon, The Killers. The Killers. Final answer. Final answer. Is it because of Massive Clue I just gave you? No. My brain started working again. Welcome to Brighton. This is Indiana's new home for the foreseeable future, where we'll be working to bring her back to her former glory. Brighton is located on the south coast of England. We chose Brighton for its proximity to family and friends, the world-renowned sailing along the south coast, Europe and beyond. Also, they have a pretty famous pier, Banksy loves it, and our friend owns the best vegan junk food spot in town. Oh man, I have to get the port out. <laughs>